Hi, my name is Austin Gill, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing debugging techniques for Akamai Edge Workers. Now, you may be familiar with the standard debug headers for Akamai Edge Workers. If not, you should check out those videos first. In this video, we're going to go into a more in depth look at the advanced debug headers and the JavaScript logger for Akamai Edge Workers. So in addition to the information available through the standard debug headers, the advanced debug headers give you access to things like status messages or the amount of wall time or CPU time and the amount of memory that was consumed by the event handler. You can also configure enhanced debug headers to include uh, information about HTTP sub requests. Now, in order to access this enhanced debug information, there are a few requirements. First, you'll have to include the pragma header as discussed in the standard debug headers and include a value that enables the enhanced debug headers. Next, you'll also have to set an Akamai EW trace header on the request, and the value will be, have to be set to an authentication token. And in order to get the value of that authentication token, you can use the Akamai CLI in order to generate one. If you're not familiar with the Akamai CLI, there will be information in the description of this video, or you can check tech docs in order to get started. We're gonna start there to generate an authentication token. In the Akamai Control Center, I deployed this Akamai Edge Worker following the Hello World example. If we examine the code bundle for this edge worker, we can see that it imports the global logger module and on client requests, it logs some information to the logger and then responds with a bit of HTML saying, hello world from Akamai edge workers. On client response, it also logs another message to the logger and responds with a custom header called X hello world from Akamai edge workers. I've configured a custom Akamai property to run this edge worker at debugheadersdemo.austingill.com. But if we open up the dev tools and make the request for this route, we can see that although we do see that custom X hello world uh, response header, we're not getting a whole bunch of useful information for debugging issues that may arise in this Akamai edge worker. And that's where the advanced debug headers come in. So as I mentioned before, in order to view the information from the advanced debug headers, we're going to have to generate an authentication token. And we can do that with the Akamai CLI using the command Akamai Edge Workers Auth, and then the name of the property. After a moment, we'll get a response, including an example of the Akamai EW trace headers that we'll have to include in the request, as well as the authentication token that we'll have to use for the value. By default, the auth token generated by the Akamai CLI will expire after 48 hours, but you can also set a custom expiry if you want. So I'm just going to copy the authentication token value. Now we can make the same request for this Akamai edge worker, but we'll have to include a couple of custom headers in order to view the advanced debug information. Normally you can't set custom headers for a request in the browser, but if you're using a Chrome-based browser, you can install the mod headers extension. And as you can see here, I'm including a custom pragma header set to Akamai-X-EW-Debug to enable the advanced debug headers for edge workers, as well as the akamai dash EW dash trace header, which I've set to the authentication token that I received back from the Akamai CLI. Now, when I rerun the request, we'll see a lot more information in the response headers that's useful for debugging these edge workers. They'll include things like the wall time, the CPU time, and the memory usage, as well as any of the values that were sent to the logger. And it's very handy to see which file and line number that information was logged from. Just make sure the values do not exceed the maximum limit for the logger. And if you prefer using the terminal, here's an example of making that same request using curl, which goes to the debug header demo.austingill.com site and passes the pragma header uh, set to Akamai X EW debug, as well as the Akamai EW trace header set to the auth token that we generated with the CLI. And similar to what we saw in the browser, we see the information for the response, including the status message, the wall time, the CPU time, and the memory usage, as well as the information that was sent to the logger. Additional information on edge workers logging, including the limitations, can be found on the documentation page. Enhanced debugging and logging can provide you with crucial information you need when developing edge workers. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.